In this video, we're going to take a look at a plugin for Comfy UI. It's one that changes the appearance of the of the software a fair amount, and it's also changed quite a lot over the last few weeks. So it's something which maybe you might have used, but perhaps uh, you'll enjoy an update for this one. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, at the plugin. It's called Comfy UI Custom Scripts, and with this one, it has a lot of functionality. It's now got autocomplete, which allows you to complete things like embeddings without having to type things out completely. It makes things a bit easier to arrange on the canvas. So we'll take a look at some of the features, just a handful of the features, just a couple of, of the features, and perhaps look at how to install it. Now we're going to be installing it using the Comfy UI Manager. So we'll go to the Manager and we go to Install Custom Nodes. I'm going to look for, make sure Filter All is turned on and we're going to look for, I think Python might be a good, good starting point. Okay, so we've got Python GOS Custom UI Scripts. Go ahead and install that. Excellent. So what I'm going to do now is to restart Comfy UI. So I've gone ahead and refreshed the, the page, the web page. We've lost the history. Let's go ahead and just run this prompt and see what it does for us. And what I want to do is to take a look at what happens on the, on the left-hand side when this is finished. There we are. Now, the thing that it does here is it gives us this, uh, this canvas um, gallery, which allows us to see things as they mount. We can change the number of columns. We can change the size of the feed. It's a really useful way of seeing and keeping a history of uh, things that you've actually, things that you've actually uh, rendered. So what we can do, if we render another one, it should just place it there as usual. So it's very useful for keeping track of what you've done and you can sort of see it in the enlarged uh, in the enlarged gallery if you want to we can also use this particular plugin to save workflows so if I want to save a workflow I can say save two workflows and I can say standard workflow uh, put in 1.5 and there we are and we can then later come here and we can see the standard workflow 1.5 there. So it allows us to, let me see if I can actually see that clearly. There we are. So we can see things that we've saved before and it saves things in its own little directory. So you can have access to these, uh, to, to these workflows sp specifically where this software, where this particular plugin stores them. Uh, I find that very useful. Uh, you can save them in the usual way. So you can use save as and they'll save it in the usual way. And that functionality itself, I think, is really, really excellent in terms of allowing us to organize things. And you can see as I'm, um, as I'm running prompts, it's creating a preview here. And another feature, if we go and click on the settings, we can see here the ability to snap to grid. So this snapping behavior, you can change the uh, snapping behavior, how how sensitive it is using the grid size. And if we go ahead and just close that, what you'll find is that we have this sort of snapping box that appears and it tells you where the box is gonna snap to. So it snaps to grid and that can be useful in arranging things in a little bit of a neater way if you uh, really value the neatness of your of your layout and your workflows. Another feature we get is the ability to actually do these autocompletes. So if I type in comma and start typing in embed, it brings up this menu and I think I just use the down arrow. I can choose one of my uh, embeddings, hit enter, and that is something that allows me to use the embedding. Embeddings are features that are found in uh, certain workflows. Um, and you don't have to really understand what they're doing um, in order to understand the principle. You add this particular prompt into the prompt box. Now, the problem with this is that I find it sometimes distracting. Sometimes I find I'm trying to type something in, let's say Emerald, and it covers the, 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 the spelling and I can't see whether I'm spelling it right or not. So you can switch it off and you can switch it off by ticking off the enabled there. 
Now, as you can see, it was already switched off, so it should not have been occurring, but I find with this particular feature, it can be a little bit sticky, uh, or at least it's, the settings are not as sticky as I would like to, but I find just going in and uh, taking it, taking it and taking it off again, will actually switch it off. I find it distracting more than I find it helpful. Now, um, th 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 there are other features related to this ability to autocomplete, but we won't go into that in this video. You can see a little bit of that over on the on the website. The features are fairly, fairly completely illustrated here. So you can learn a little bit more about that if you want to. Now inside of the settings, you'll find a lot of these menu items that have the snake. That's the Python snake. I'm not sure that's how py Pythons actually arrange themselves, but uh, you can see a lot of items here which have been added. Uh, by the plugin, so you know we can change the f the image feed. So we can change it to bottom. We can go to the left. I sometimes prefer left, and uh, we can change the change it the order from oldest to newest, and so on and so forth. So uh, th there's a lot of features, and if we choose add node. I think there's actually a bunch of nodes which only appear when you have this installed. But I. Uh, like you can see here, the lower loader, checkpoint loader. So you can tell by the by the icon, by the Python icon, that these are related to that particular plugin. But this is one that I find useful. It has changed quite a lot uh, quite recently. I do find the embedding feature, the ability to do autocomplete, a little bit uh, distracting. You can change it using the settings, and I find that I have to change it uh, pretty much every time I log into or start the server for uh, for the software for Comfy UI. But uh, I think overall it's a very useful plugin to 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 work with and um, I think it's one to consider installing and uh, to use on a regular basis. And it introduces quite a lot of usability, quality of life features inside of uh, Comfy UI. So certainly something worth checking out even if you decide in the end not to use it. I'm